in case you've never used this very handy tool, swap update block, and you really have two options. Option A swaps a block out with a different block name. Example, you want to swap out a push button with a mushroom head. You want to swap out a limit switch for a proc switch. So I could, in this case, I'm just going to say one at a time. I'm going to pick my new block from the icon menu. I'll pick a mushroom head. And just like that, it swaps the block out. One area you want to be careful here is if you did have a catalog number assigned to this already, well, now you got a completely different symbol, so the catalog number is probably going to change. Now, the other place you can use this, so where I tend to use it more, is inserting you know, a modified version of a block inside of a drawing where it already exists. So as an example, you know, I got this relay, I got this relay, and I got another one underneath it. They're all the same symbol. And let's just say for an example, I didn't like, you know, I, I wanted to change something out of the symbol. It's the symbol out of the box. I want to modify it. So I go and I modify the symbol. And maybe in the case, that's what I did here. I moved the text out a little bit more to the right when I insert it immediately. Now, if this was AutoCAD, I would have to delete each instance, purge the drawing in order to be able to insert my new modified version. Well, the swap update block does that all for you at the same time. Under option B, I can say, give me new version and I'm just going to browse I placed it in the same folder that I'm performing this webinar on and I'm just going to do it for the active drawing So essentially, as you can see, each one of these instances is now the new version of the original block. I didn't have to delete. I didn't have to purge. I didn't have to reinsert new. It took care of it, all of it at the same time for me. And you can literally swap out a whole library, one library with another as well.